J Dub here. J Dub Shop Time. I got a chance to uh, make it to the toy store Friday and, uh, you know, the Jeep toy store. We don't go anywhere else. There's no other toy stores. And I uh, found us a uh, couple little trinkets here. We got, uh, I'm not really sure. Pretty detailed. But a little die cast. You know, it's like aluminum underneath, you know, hollow back. Tried looking it up. I tried looking it up, but I'm not really sure. I'm not really sure uh, what vintage it is. You know, if it's Japanese made, but it does roll. It's a roller. And the windshield frames drop down on it. And we got us a baby Tonka. I call these the little Tonka series. And it's a really nice one. It's missing the steering wheel. And uh, we're missing a headlight on it. But that one will go up on the shelf with all the other baby Tonkas. And it's nice because it's got a top. So I, I and uh, you know, it's kind of unique, you know, it's got the smoothies on the back and not the Dunan tires. You know, it's a cruiser. And so a uh, little beach cruiser. And then we got, uh, we uh, found us another Elvis Jeep. We got us a nice little pink, uh, what they call the galley. And uh, the galley is because of their pink. They came in blue too, originally from the Jeep factory, just like this. And uh, so this one's really nice. It's uh, got the pink steering wheel and everything. And uh, got a little patina. Got a little patina on the side, you know, where, uh, you know, somebody was getting in and out of it, of course. And uh, we got the Tonka sticker on the back and a little patina right there in the corner there. Uh, it's missing its side Tonka stickers, but that's all right. I'm not sure if the galley Jeep ever came with them. Probably just the, maybe just the rear sticker. So uh, that one's a sweetheart. Got really nice hubcaps. All the hubcaps are there. And so, uh, you know, more fun with Jeeps. Uh, we got us a nice little lineup here to add to the collection. And I got a real surprise here at the end. Oh, look at that one. This one's a real surprise. So, uh, I remember back when I was a kid, I think I've seen these before, and I think maybe Dad might have even had one, but I'm not 100% sure, but they're badass. Look at that, boys. You can't believe it. My dog wants to play. My dog wants to play, too. She likes to play. Stay down. So these are pretty, pretty detailed. I mean, right down to the nuts and bolts on the front bumper and whatnot. And if you look here on the dashboard, let's see if we can get some better light on it. You know, uh, you know, you're talking down to the, uh, you know, it's got the ID, uh, you know, the, the plates on it, and you know, the whatnot and gauges and everything on the dashboard, and we got the the mirror and everything on it and if you go up here all the stars and stripes and the stuff on the hood and well we can't show you that part yet and so you go down to the back here and we got all the bumperettes and the three-point hitch and the spare and the gas tank and everything super nice this is the surprise i'm not sure if anybody's ever seen one of these oh this right here was a Jim Beam decanter and you probably can't see it you probably can't see it but it says Beam decanter right there and I looked it up 1986 these came out I was 16 you can do the math I wasn't drinking yet so that's probably why I didn't see too many of them <laughs> not drinking yet so yeah there we go uh there's the new toy lineup for the shelf out in the shop i'm gonna have to build some more shelves and uh it's kind of cool kind of cool little military one i'm uh you know i'm more of a tonka collector i'm big into the tonkas but uh these little ones that are military too i'm starting to collect some more of these japanese tin toys and old die cast toys that are that are pretty accurate so some of the funny looking japanese ones are kind of goofy but uh this one's pretty accurate 
I like that. And it's heavy. That's a real toy. Kid could play with that. You could pull that one down off the shelf. Kid could pull that one around until the axles bend and straighten them right back out, probably. Uh, the kid can't play with this one. This one's actually made out of, uh, I'm thinking it's a, uh, the bottle or the jug portion is made out of uh, porcelain. And it's got a real funny feel to it. It's almost got a texture just like military paint would on the sides of the Humvees or old military Jeeps where it's got a kind of a rough texture to it. I picked it up and it's heavy and not really too heavy, but uh, I thought it was a toy at first. I actually literally thought it was a toy. And uh, lo and behold, it's a decanter. So that's kind of cool. That'll go on the shelf too, guys. So uh, J-Dub shop time fun with toys this morning we'll talk to you later we're gonna get back on the dodge this afternoon and uh hopefully have her buttoned up by this afternoon make a new video for you doing that and uh uh we're having we're having fun this morning aren't we penny we're having fun this morning we'll talk to you later